sort of came to the realization after the last couple of years of trying to really be professional about it, get the website up and running. I've got a, I'm on the Shopify platform. I'm going to their seminars. I'm learning about marketing, the community. What's the best way to approach what I'm trying to do? And I really came to the realization that uh, unless I do it full time, I can't devote the right amount of energy to it to make it work. It just, it doesn't work part-time. You can't do it. You can't build any business. Chances are on eight hours a, a week. I listen to a lot of inspirational books or business books or things that are about you know, changing your mindsets, uh, like Carol Dweck's mindset, Bernard Roth's The Achievement Habit. And the, the book that I listened to recently that really kind of clued it all or uh, pulled it all together for me was Jen Sincero's uh, You're a Badass at Making Money. Oh, not familiar with that one. Okay. It is, it is awesome. And it actually hit on so many things I was feeling. She, she basically goes through her journey from going from earning nothing to being a multimillionaire doing what she loves. Mm -hmm. And it hit on so many things that I was feeling at the time that I just realized I have to leap from what I do full time as a stainless steel metal fabricator and jump into my business. Now, I know you said you needed to be able to do it full time. You realized that. What was your, oh, that's what I need to do moment when you were reading that book? To be honest, I don't think it was one moment. Yeah. I think it was more her, her journey that really was parallel to my own. So before she decided to jump ship and get into things full time for herself, she was seeing the same problems, hitting the, you know, the same, same walls, falling in the same pits that I was. You know, I'm putting in... 200 hours into this thing. And if I can't sell it for $50,000, I'm not making any money, of course. And if I can't find somebody to buy it, then I'm not making any money. Or I'm doing a commission, but it takes me 100 hours and I'm getting $100 for it. I'm not making any money. It was sort of that uh, the business side of it that was never really coming to me. The creativity side of what I do has always flowed for me. I've never, I've never hit a brick wall with writer's block as it were, but for artists, yeah. uh, artists block, uh, that's never been a, a problem for me. I have so many ideas in my sketchbooks that I, I could probably never have another new idea and never run out of stuff to do. If, if there's anything, maybe that's what I should actually do. I should just be an idea man. Come to me. You pay <laughs> me so much money for an idea and I will, I will give you something from my book. Uh, you know, that, that character from elf, uh, it's the gentleman from uh, Game of Thrones. The, oh, okay. The Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage, yes. He shows up and he's there to save the day. Uh -huh. And he's got a book of ideas. They need an idea for a new book. And he shows up with this mystical book. Ooh, <laughs> this book of ideas. And that's that's his job, essentially, is to rescue you with a new idea. Okay. And so maybe, kind of like uh, the uh, Harvey Keitel character <laughs> in Pulp Fiction. He's the guy that comes up and goes, <laughs> yeah. here's how we're going to fix this. Maybe I should do that. I don't know. But it was, I think for, for me, it was her parallel, her just her journey through that book and the way she tells it and the straightforwardness of it. I listened to a lot of other books by like authors like Brene Brown, who has a huge following and she's all about mindset and following your passion. But I listened to three or four of her books and they were basically all self-referencing each other. There was nothing new in any of her new books. You know, she just repackaged it for business people or for housewives. That's kind of what Jen's, I mean too, is that it can apply. It's just, it doesn't necessarily have to apply to artists too. It can also apply for like many different things. And also absolutely. each business, somebody started that business, regardless of what field it's in. Like even in the, the one that you were telling me about before that you were in the there, fabricator, even that, like somebody had to start that it can apply everywhere. And that's what I mean by like, there's some moment where it's like, that's how this applies. It, and that's the beauty of it. Think of that story like in the thing that you like to do. You learn to apply it in a way that will maybe even make you think of something that's a little bit more unique. Kind of like learning GIMP from a Photoshop tutorial. There's, yes. You can do the same thing on both. You just have to figure out how to do that method in here because everything's all switched around and different. Exactly. I think I think for her, uh, what, she, what she was talking about, for me, I, I, she was a writer and an author. And essentially, that's where she's had huge success, it was not only with her books, but also with her coaching, which is what her books are based on, her business coaching and her model of, of that. And I think it's because she was a fellow creative that it, uh, it did clue in for me. It was really kind of a like a no-brainer. She's just putting all the little blocks in my own life. And I was just following along. And I'm like, that's me, and that's me, and that's me, and 
I got to quit this shit if I'm going to get this done. My, my goal at the beginning of this year of, of 2019 was to actually take my business, Red Fracture, and build it to the point where I could walk away from my job, that it would become my sole income. You know, there's all these great new models out there. I had a great new website, drop shipping t-shirts from the U.S., you know, so it's no fuss. I don't have to carry any product. I don't have to put in any capital up front. It's an easy model to do, but I wasn't able to work on it at all. And it just kind of sat there doing nothing. Nobody was coming to the site. Nobody knew about what I was doing. Right. I wasn't producing any new ideas, new designs. And so it really was, it was all about that. It was like, either you, you get after it or let it go. That was, that was it for me. I really had to foot down. If we're going to do this, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs>